Please rise. Here in this place new light is streaming. Now is the darkness vanished away. See in this space our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day. Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the blind and the lame. Call to us now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of our name. Let us speak in this celebration the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the commitment of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. This Mass is offered for the repose of soul of Catherine Harris. Today we have uh, two martyrs, saints to be remembered in the church, St. Nereus and Achilles and St. Pancreas. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins. To celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's call to mind our sins and worthily participate in this Holy Eucharist. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and, and in my words, in what, in what I have done and, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault. Through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your church rejoice, O oh God, confident in the intercession of the martyr Saint Pancras, and by his glorious prayers, may she persevere in devotion to you and stand ever firm. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, although indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. 
Since, therefore, we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them, but some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damar Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The Word of the Lord. Heaven and earth, are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Heaven and earth, are full of your glory. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, 
He will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears. He will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that they will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. When the Spirit of Truth comes, he will guide you to all the truth. In the church, we have great holy days, two of them Easter and Christmas. Is about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Soon, tomorrow, we're going to have the Ascension Thursday. In another week and a half, we're going to have Pentecost. It is for God, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. When we think of the Holy Spirit, we think about two things, church and the gift of the spirits in our life. When God breathed the Holy Spirit, the church was born, and he continues to operate in our life. He gives us truth. There's a promise of the Holy Spirit. He's ascended. He's going to the Father. Everybody's looking up, he said. It's not enough to just look up. Look down and navigate your life where I give the Holy Spirit to walk through the ways of the world. The question is, what is truth? Is it truth is an opinion? Is it truth a fad? Is it truth is just a shy away? or a truth that is the way of life only God can give. I'm pretty sure when we look at the everyday news in the television, read from the paper, when you go for a coffee with your friends, each one gives their opinion. Take, for example, the hot discussion about this vaccine and COVID, some say, I do not even want to think about having a shot. And some would say, I would like to have a shot and want to be healthy, go for partying. Two views. But the question is, in my Christian life, how do I allow the Holy Spirit to be a counselor, to be an advocate, to know the truth in my life. Truth endures. Truth is from the beginning. Keeping this as a backdrop, in today's first reading, Paul is in Athens, Areopagus, where philosophers, mystery teachers were there. Highly philosophical world. We have the Aristotelian Socratic effect till we have today in all the teachings, literature, thinking. And here he goes and says, it is in Christ I live, move, and have my being. The knowledge, the philosophy, the mystery can never give me that contentment the truth, in grounding in myself in the risen Christ alone can give me the wisdom, can give me the truth. Now, a question for us today, 
We cannot run away from the world and the culture we live in. Therefore, Paul walked in and said, do not offer those sacrifices to the nameless God, but live the truth because he is the way, the truth, and the life. If you know that in your life, then you live and move and have your being in Christ. Therefore, he preaches the risen Christ. Again, there's an encounter taking place. He meets them where they are. Same for us as Christians today. We are in the culture. Things are moving fast. People give wrong opinions and perspectives. But to be in God by our lives, we are called continuously to have the dialogue, conversation. Not to have opinion, not to expect people to think the way we think, but rather think along with Christ and to have that conversation. And through our lives, through our words, we continue to preach like St. Paul. And we along with St. Paul can say, without the Holy Spirit, I cannot know the revelation Without the Holy Spirit, I cannot know the source of Christ. Without the Holy Spirit, we will not know the purpose of a life. With Paul, we can say, in Christ we live. In Christ we have our being. And in Christ we live and move and have our being. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Together, confident with God, that is with us, let's offer him our prayers of petition. Our response will be, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, may her leaders continue to follow the Holy Spirit, inspiring all to follow the way, the truth, and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have served and now serve their country in the military, may they be kept safe and know they are appreciated. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For caregivers and counselors in society who are responsible for those often perceived as the least among us, May they be given the strength to continue to work with compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will join the communion of saints in the glory of God forever, especially the souls remembered in our Easter spiritual bouquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer for our troops and their families, the unborn and their parents, and the ill of our parish, especially the individuals and families on our prayer list, that our Lord would strengthen them with his mercy, we pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those intentions which are most dear to us, which we lift up at this time in silence, Let us pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We especially pray for Catherine Harris, for whom this Mass is intended. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. We especially pray for Maxima Ramos, Claudia Waller, Bob Claussen, George Jr., Lisa Morrissey, Sheila Shaw, 
Joseph Colin Kelly, Matthew Cummings, Jack Birchall, John Barry, Kathleen Trotter, George Dublino, Susan Greg Diane, Daniel Lee, Jordan Jack, Shay Taylor Hale, Edward Schaff, Barbara, William James, Yolanda, John Guso, Jenny, let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Merciful, loving Father, we humbly ask you to grant the petitions we are presented to you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, so it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, so it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Oh God, I sacrifice blessing to Lord God. I will wash him and equally cleanse me from our sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we come to know your truth, we make it ours by worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim your Lord, but in this time of old, Lord, you had more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. Even the heavenly powers of angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed a holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Frank our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Catherine Harris, whom you call from this world to yourself. Grant that united in son and death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them, the light of your face, and mercy in us all, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Claire, St. Anthony, St. John the Evangelist, John of the Cross, Teresa of Avila, St. Pancras, whom you have called from this world to yourself, may place through all the ages, may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your pastors, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but faith of your church, and gracious grant a peace and unity coins with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. August Dei, qui toli specata munti, miserere nobis. August Dei, qui toli specata munti, miserere nobis. August Dei, Qui tole specata munti, dono nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. And the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if already there. Unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit to be separated from you. Amen. The communion antiphon, I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. This is the bread of God coming down from heaven, giving life to us, to all the Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now. Cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. I am the living spring of eternal that drink from me shall not thirst again. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now. Cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. And have a blessed day. Thank you, Father. You also. I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus.